Hey folks, Zedabaka here, and welcome back to a special video titled Z Something Awesome, My Kadawasho Joe Experience. Now, I bet you're wondering why I'm making this video. As the majority of you already know, I recently took interest in another project. It was going to be me and a few friends, but we thought we could have a little more fun and we got more other people into this too. However, it hasn't been received well by the internet, and I've made a few honest mistakes to boot, which is not the best thing when you're touching a subject that so many people are strongly attached to. But I wanted to address you all directly. My friends, my cast, and the people who have the right to their own opinion about this entire production, I would like to discuss my experience. That is the visual novel Kodawa Shoujo. Oh, and uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to ruin a few things. If you haven't played the game, you should give it a try. It's pretty awesome. Right then, on to business. <sighs> this, be this began as a production that had no title at the time. This was a few years ago, during the release of Kodawa Shoujo Act 1. A few friends of the, user of the university introduced me to Kodawa Shoujo. They basically wanted me to play through it and see who I ended up with. And you know, they made small bets, gave me the files, and you know, tell me all about it. Basis aside, I only knew the title translated loosely something ought to be like Cripple Girls. And I was a bit skeptical, but you know, I trusted my friends who know me well enough to know what that I'd love a good read. So, loading up the game for the first time, I really wasn't prepared for like the great music, the amazing story, and the very colorful characters. I'm pretty sure that anyone who plays with the game though relates to Hisao in some way. If not, you know, putting themselves in that role completely. So, I basically went through the game making choices like I would everyday life. So, after getting to know each character for the first playthrough ever, it came to be festival day and there he was, you know, Kenji. Dragging me up to the rooftop for a manly picnic. I, I didn't think much of it at the time, <laughs> thinking to myself, you know, well, I did spend time with everyone else. I guess Kenji felt left out, so it's not so bad, and <sighs> for those of you who know the ending, bear with me. I'm getting somewhere, okay? Right. So Kenji and I sat on the roof and listened to his banter until, you know, it happened, and well, you know how it ends. And for those of you that don't, I fell off the roof and died. I was upset. I was truly, deeply upset at the game at this point. I didn't understand what I had done wrong. I was nice to everyone, I didn't make anyone hate me, I didn't get it. So it was that weekend that I hopped into a bus to campus and went to talk to my friends about it. They all laughed actually, because none of them expected me to get Kenji's ending on the first try. They were like, you know, you're supposed to choose someone. He's like, you can't please everyone, you know? I was like, <laughs> you loser, you didn't get anyone. You didn't get to know anyone enough to call them a friend. And I laughed a bit, you know thinking that I was the only one in the friend group to get Kenji, ending on the first try. But something really bugged me. Enough for me to keep thinking about it on the bus ride home. And then it dawned on me. And let me level with you. It's gonna get pretty pretty personal from here on out. As I was playing through Kawa Shoujo, I had put myself in the role of Hisa. Some guy taken from his old world and thrown into some place completely new. And what does Zolzettle do? You know, I'm my, f I'm normally just my friendly, optimistic self, no matter what the situation. So I tried to be friends with everyone I met. I tried to fit in, and when it came to getting to know someone, I guess I never really asked questions, nor did I answer anyone's questions when they asked me about it. It was because I was so focused on pleasing everyone that I lost track of how thin my friendships are. That everyone in my life was just on the surface as a friend, but that I didn't really know anyone too deeply beyond that, what I could observe and you know, things I didn't really ask about. It was because of who I was that I ended up dying alone with some weirdo in his company. And then I cried, right there on the bus. Tears silently fell, tears silently fell as I came to the realize, and I came to realize that though I had put myself in Hisao's shoes, this was a possibility for me as a person in reality. That because I'm so friendly, and I have a lot of friends, you know, who I could, who could, who could I truly call on when I needed someone? Probably only enough to come on my hands, but most of them being my family still. And it was in this context, it was through Parable Shoujo that I realized that I didn't want to just be some friendly guy that everyone knew, because it meant very little in the end. I made other people, but that left me alone as a person. And that's why I played through the game, again and again. Without an FAQ, I wanted to know each. I wanted to know who each character was, and get the, get to know them. 
even though even, I even talked to my friends. I even talked to my friends more about themselves and got to know them better. As I got to know more about each person, in game and not, I found myself more attached to everyone around me. Beyond my natural concern and caring for other people, came a true wonder if they were going to be okay. Right now, as of today, it's been a few months since I've been at through university to hang out with those guys. The same people who I come to try and call my first true fans. The, first, the same goes for those in high school too. I mean, I have a lot of friends at the new college I have, that I go to now and, you know, but I feel like this is a vicious cycle that I feel myself going through. And honestly, I want it to stop. Luckily enough for me though, <laughs> someone reached out to me in a way that hadn't happened before. I fell in love with someone who didn't expect, who didn't want anyone with someone who didn't want me to be anyone else but me. She's amazing, but I won't dwell into it for too much. But to say the least, she's the reason why my life's been on track as of now. While I know that these feelings and motivations are my own, she helped me find that inner fire, this passion, this drive to do more to, to do more and be a better person. We've shared secrets, and there are things I've told her that no one else knows about me. And we've shown our scars to each other. We've talked about our futures. We meet, maybe, once or twice a week for lunch. And I don't mind that we have our own lives to focus on right now. We're, we're still growing adults. But, you know, she grounded me to a reality that was still something I could dream about. I found my girl who needed a little support to be happy. And in turn, she gave me more happiness than I believe possible. And that is why Kawa Shoujo resonates so well with me. I've been there in Hisao's shoes. That depression, the sad outlook on life, that directionless, that directionless friendliness that was basically an autopilot. I didn't want to end up with my own version of Kenji's ending. So as people reached out to me, I reached back out to them. And luckily, I found someone who opened up to me as much as I opened up to her. So when I heard the full version of Karawa Shoujo came out this year, I had to know. I had to know how Hisao's life turned out. While I had lived up to my potential and pushed myself to new limits, it was it was the same resolve I felt in Hisao as he stepped, to, stepped forward into Act 2 of each arc. And he was willing to change and become a better person, if not for someone else, for his own sake. But alas, we both didn't realize that it was too late before we fell in love with someone that you know, we were trying to help, but they helped us. Well, yeah. So yeah, sitting through Hanako's story taught me patience and dedication to someone you love is always worth it. And chasing Emmy was all about being tenacious and never giving up. Pushing the limits to your body, of your body and mind until you, got, until you made your dreams come true. Listening to Rin helped me learn that I talk way too damn much and read way too much into things. That sometimes I just need to relax and let people and myself be just that. Lily helped me see that my intention has been so focused in all the wrong places that I really do need to work on things I want now and my future for that matter. And Shizuna and Misha, of all people, scolded me for living through my life, not thinking about what I was doing or what was happening around me. That I, I should always be aware of the people who are there for me, and I should be there for them too. It was through the, ma the many playthroughs that I really read into the story and get so into it that I found myself wanting to bring it to life. <sighs> Which brought me about Karaba Shoujo Mo Ichido. I will say it's impossible to compare any two experiences of this game fully. Like two snowflakes. It's it's the same way that there's no way someone could experience someone else's life. So I do understand that I upset a lot of people for for projecting mine out there. And I get <laughs> I get that people dislike the voices because it's not what they heard in their head, but you know, I also understand that I should stay true to the source material if I'm doing something like this. I mostly wanted to say I right, I mostly wanted to make this video to tell you something. That I want you to realize that this has been my experience. The view of the game, the view of the eyes. game through my eyes, will be coming from this single heart, given life and flight by the support and effort of those involved in the production. That is why I refused to stop when I made an honest mistake of posting something, like posting something that would upset people. I asked for permission, and it was with an honor that to say that it is with. Like, I have now asked for permission, 
and it is with honor to say that 4D Studios understands that I didn't mean any harm. However, the post did happen, and that is a burden I accept for being very foolhardy. That is also why I don't judge anyone who criticizes me on how bad of a job I did on the trailer, and future videos for that matter. Because clearly, I can't make anything that will ever live up to everyone's expectations of how they experienced it through their own eyes, or how they felt the story with their own heart for that matter. You know, call me a hopeless romantic, but I would love to have the ability to capture each and every one of your experiences into a two minute video. But I can't. Sorry. Man. That aside, realize that I'm only one guy. That this is the whole internet. I'm sure there are other people wanting to do something with their life that says, you know, they made people see what they saw, feel what they felt. So for you to hate my southern lily and to think the lines are too cheesy and the production level is below par, and also flame me and my snowflake of an experience out in this open setting, I'll take it. I will. I'll continue on. I'll learn what I can from each of your words. If, if you're upset and don't like something, tell me. And, you know, I'll do, I'll, I'll see what I can do about balling up that little feeling. That, that heart flutter when Lily first took the sleeve of your shirt. That feeling when you found Rin sleeping on your shoulder. The emotion when Hanako took initiative to call you. That passionate burning desire you felt behind learning sign language for Shizune. The want and the need to chase after Emmy as she ran from you. I want you to hold onto that feeling right now. That feeling you carry on your bandaged heart. Hold it forever. Turn it into motivation. Turn it into something you've always wanted. Be it finding your own your own love in life, you know, graduating college, moving out, starting a family, being a voice actor, a producer, a trusted friend, a great singer, the best competitive video gamer ever, a, a huge internet visual novel. Turn your passion into motivation, and turn that into something. Channel that swelled up ball of emotions, and turn it into something that proves you are real. The time is now. This is your life. You know, I was just another bit of data on the internet. But now, like the entire Kawa Shoujo project, I hope you'll believe me to be a real thing. A normal everyday person like you. Thank you for caring and listening to someone else's story. <laughs> I'm Zelda Viker, and this has been my Kadawa Shoujo experience. It's your turn.